I live in Los Angeles, which means a lot of my friends are unemployed actors that found their calling to be elementary school teachers. And so I'm constantly liberating ideas from them. I never steal an idea from another teacher. I liberate their idea and expose other students to it. And so I got all kinds of games we play with the kids. This one's called Hollywood Writer. So every time I, I uh, read a book, I'll close the book three pages before the ending and say, all right, kids, write me the ending. A lot of times kids write better endings than the authors. Hollywood movie star. So I tell the kids, all right, take a small character from a story and make them the primary character of the story. Another way to do it with little kids is say, okay, take two of your favorite characters and put them in a story together. Shrek and the Stinky Cheese Man in their first adventure together. Hollywood producer, you take your pencil like a cigar. You're like, oh, you like that story, kids? Write me the sequel. So the best one my first graders ever wrote was Goldilocks 2, The Bear's Revenge. Hollywood Rival, you ever notice Hollywood comes out with a superhero movie that makes a billion dollars, all of a sudden there's 38 more superhero movies in theaters? It's all the same story regurgitated. So if a kid likes a story, say, okay, we're just gonna change an element, change some elements. So instead of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, it can be Goldilocks and the Three BYU Cougars. Hollywood Publicist, this is actually my favorite comprehension activity. Every day I read a story to the kids without showing them the cover, without telling them the title of the story. Then after I'm done reading, I'm like, all right, kids, draw me a cover, give me a title. See what we're trying to do? We're trying to figure out how to make comprehension fun for kids with different strengths. 